Okay, here we are in chapter 38, and I wanted to redo some of those uh, tutorials that uh, didn't quite work out for us. Uh, in chapter 38, we started off with um, a discussion with bones and connecting an IK solver, and those went were pretty straightforward. And now we're going into inver different types of inverse kinematics, and specifically this one with the backhoe. This particular one this particular exercise uses a simple kind of um, linkage system okay so what we want to do is go ahead and constrain the whole exercise is constraining these two are the buck the bucket and the arm so that it doesn't adversely affect the housing or the track or this base plate down here to move in a unnatural manner okay so basically in reality in real life this base housing and this uh, circular um, circular base down here would stay put as the backhoe would be doing its work and kind of and the whole housing here would maybe rotate moving the arm back and bucket system so we want to kind of emulate that and the only way we can do that is by constraining or limiting the movement on some of these um, some of these items so that's kind of what we want to learn today so first thing we need to do is we need to uh, go up into the graph editors and go to the new schematic open a new um, schematic view and in here it shows everything that's in the scene we only have the one two three four five six seven pieces and what we need to do is link them in a particular way which in a particular hierarchy that kind of makes sense so we know that the author asks us that the uh, to attach the right and the left track to the base plate and then the base plate is a child of the um, base cylinder so all we need to do is go here to the connect and then drag this to the base cylinder and then drag the left track to the base and then drag the right track to the base as well and then we have this kind of configuration where the base cylinder is the parent so we're going to do with the same thing with the housing is a child of the base cylinder the arm is a child of the housing and the bucket is a child of the arm so notice our our um, graph here emulates what's on page 952 okay so now that we have this hierarchy set up let's go ahead and close this and if you want to usually at milestones I tend to want to save the file so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and and uh, my computers acting a little slow I've got a lot of stuff open so I'm really not surprised there we go save as and I'm gonna save this as backhoe and we're going to call this Alex and say save because you never know when you might lose this stuff so the first thing the author asks you to limit is he wants you to go down to the um, to the center base here which is already highlighted and he wants you to limit that movement okay so let's see We need to go to the um, hierarchy, go to the inverse kinematics section here, and let's take a look at what's all involved here in interactive kinematics. Um, what we want to do is we want to specify that that cylinder is the terminator. What that means is that in the kinematic chain that no movement will be allowed even if it is not constrained past that point that is the termination right there nothing's affected past that point okay oops I unhighlighted so we want to bind the position and we also want to bind the orientation according to the instructions
Okay, and the next thing we're asked to do is we're asked to now limit the um, movement, not yeah, the movement of this arm here. So let's go ahead and select that, and I'll maximize that view. So let's see. So we want to toggle off the effect pivot. We want to back, go back to IK, and the author asks us to select the housing. Oops, first of all, select the housing, not the arm. And I need to enable the bind position and then I need to enable the orient position but only in the X and the Y so I'm going to toggle off the Z and I need to disable all the way down to the bottom here the rotational joints I need to toggle off the X and the Y okay and only keep active the Z and this is where I get confused because of the um, because of the sentence on page 950 and for some reason it, it just still does not make sense why if you toggle it off the item is constrained I would imagine that if you toggle it on the item was constrained so way down on the bottom of page 950 there's a sentence I think it's the last sentence next to the last sentence it says if an axis if an axis active option is deselected the axis is constrained so since I deselected those those should be constrained okay with that said I'm now going to uh, go select the arm here and I'm going to enable all the bind positions and only the XZ let's get back up there Kind of bind all these and then only the X Z so I'm going to toggle off the Y and then I'm going to disable the X Z way down to the bottom so the X and the Z will be toggled off okay and then what I want to do is I want to copy those same constraints to the bucket so that's easy to do if I go down or up to the copy rotational parameters here of the arm okay and since I see a flash I'm assuming that something good happened go here to the bucket and then I'm just gonna paste those in and let's zoom to the bottom hopefully those look correct and they do okay so with that said now I can go ahead and test the system select this and make sure that my interactive IK is on and you can see I can rotate up this way move my my bucket up and down and I don't kind of flop all over the place okay and that's exactly what you want to do Okay, so now if you wanted to animate this, just go ahead and set the auto key here. And I've keyed this position where I'm sitting at now. And I'm going to zoom over to maybe 60 frames, which would be in two seconds. I just kind of maybe move it up this way. And 90 seconds, which would be, and 90 seconds, I'm sorry, 90 frames, which will be um, a second from that, will swing over here. So that's going to be some pretty fast movement. see so there we go all right let's go ahead and move on to the propeller exercise which is on page starts on page 955 and goes over to 956